What is going on Outlaws? Once again Michael or Legacy Killer HD back here today with another Red Dead Redemption 2 or Red Dead 3 or if you just want to call it the next Red Dead game video for you. And today we're going to be discussing some of the latest news about this upcoming Red Dead title but we're also going to be going over some of the things that we want to see included in this game. But as always if you've missed any of the videos pertaining to this next Red Dead game make sure you check out the link in the description and the annotation on the screen. A lot of news and information that you're not going to want to miss. Nonetheless Outlaws let's get to our first topic of the day and that is some news. And this is coming from Rockstar Games' career page on Twitter where they're looking for somebody who can fulfill a position at Rockstar San Diego as a operations project manager. But if you didn't know, Rockstar San Diego are the main developers behind the Red Dead series and the Midnight Club series. With all the leaks and news, we know that Rockstar San Diego are probably going to be the main developers once again with this next Red Dead game, so anything that comes out of them will directly correlate to this next Red Dead title. But what's interesting about this posting is actually the description for this job. It said this project manager will be joining their online services operations team in San Diego, so more more than likely joining the multiplayer team for I guess Red Dead Online, maybe that's what it's going to be called. And this posting goes on to say that the successful candidate will be overseeing the whole project from start to finish, and they specifically actually mention that they need multiple stages of deployments and testing. And they also say that this project manager will be helping to ensure that this game is delivered on time and up to quality. But it definitely sounds like the next Rockstar game is currently in testing stages, which is definitely a good sign to maybe getting an announcement soon. We've already discussed how the Rockstar Online lead switched to an unannounced project in March of 2015, so we know that this online portion of the next Red Dead game has already been in development for about a year and a half now. And that's not to mention the other reports saying this game's already been in development overall for about four years, which would make sense if Rockstar San Diego put the groundwork down in maybe 2012, and then the other Rockstar Studios, such as Rockstar North, came in to help in 2015 to get this game prepared for its launch maybe in 2017. And I know some of this we've already discussed, I think we even discussed this the other day, but I think this really is adding more evidence that Rockstar games could be announcing this game after the Mafia 3 release. Anyway Outlaws, let me know what you think in the comment section below. Do you think we're going to be getting an announcement after the October 7th release of Mafia 3? Let me know. Now let's move on to our next topic of the day and that is some of the things that we want to see in this upcoming Red Dead title. Now the first one is actually something that I've got messages about and a lot of comments and that is the Rockstar Editor, which pretty much allows you to film some of the things that you do within GTA 5. It was made for PC but it was brought over to the Xbox One and PS4 later on and I think a lot of people enjoyed it. It's also one of the modes within it, the Director mode, which allowed you to be whatever type of character that you wanted to be for whatever type of filming situation you needed. It's a really cool idea and a really cool feature and I think it would really fit into the next Red Dead game being able to be whatever type of western cowboy or a western alien. I think that's a really cool idea that they could introduce and I think a lot of people would enjoy it. So I definitely do think that Rockstar Games would be bringing this back in the next Red Dead title. And let's be honest, who doesn't want to have the ability to make their own John Wayne or Clint Eastwood movies? I think that'd be a pretty spectacular thing to add. But to the next topic we have Stealth, a gameplay element that was present in Red Dead Redemption but it was very limited. That's why a lot of people want to see it overhauled and included in this upcoming game. And I also forgot to mention, but even in GTA 5, it was very limited. I think a lot of us expect some type of animations to even come with these stealth kills, because in a lot of moments, when you go behind an enemy and you're in stealth mode, for some reason, you're still making a lot of ruckus and a lot of noise, and you get a lot of attention, which is definitely going away from that stealth element that I think a lot of us want to see included. So I definitely feel like Rockstar Games should rework that and allow players to have more of a sense of freedom when they play the game. Now to our next topic, we have dual wheel weapons, a feature that a lot of people want to see included. It has already been in some of the GTA games in the past, one of those being GTA San Andreas, but you actually had to get up to a certain skill to unlock it. I feel like if they did that in the next Red Dead game, I'd be pretty happy with that, just being that I feel like it is a gameplay feature that would be something that we'd have to unlock, maybe with playing the game longer. And I think I speak for a lot of people when I say this would be a very exciting element to include into gameplay. But now to our last topic of the day, and that is prostitution in this upcoming Red Dead title. Now obviously within Grand Theft Auto, there's prostitutes in their strip club, and that's why a lot of people feel like the Red Dead series should be getting the same treatment as within Red Dead Redemption. Technically it was there, but it was very limited. There were sex scenes within some of these cutscenes. But the only reason why that feature wasn't included was because of John's character and the fact that he wasn't that type of guy. So will this be included in the next Red Dead game? I more than likely believe it will be, as I also don't believe our next character is going to be exactly how John was. And that's not to mention the fact that Rockstar Games really just make the game that they want to make. But personally, if they can find a story value for this, I really don't see a reason why they should include it. And hell, there's always the chance that we see Abigail in our working days. Anyway Outlaws, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you smack that like button if you did enjoy the video or found any informative value. Also drop down in the comments, tell me what your thoughts on the topics that we discussed today. And if you have not already, make sure you subscribe for a lot more additional Red Dead content to come, and I'll see you later.